Hey guys and girls, what's up? Welcome to the episode of Hugh C. Fishing. This episode, give me my practice for the first Bassmaster Open of the year, Lake Eufaula. Never been here before in my life. Be practicing for four and a half days, uh, starting on Saturday, going through Wednesday. Gonna kind of talk you guys through what I'm looking for, what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys learn something, kind of see how, how I practice, how I kind of break down a lake. Uh, so I hope it's a good video, stay tuned. Day one of practice on Lake Eufaula, just fished my first spot. Caught a pumpkin seed, or whatever it's called, and had a bass miss my bait. So one thing, first thing I like to do whenever I'm practicing is I like to just get in an area and I like to just fish and really get a feel for kind of what's going on, how shallow the water is, how warm it is, what type of stuff is here. Here we got some uh, floating, some type of floating grass, reeds and stuff like that. I think the fish are spawning right now. The water temperature is 68. Um, seen 65 so water's a little different than I would have thought but gonna just get right into it today's day one of the rest of the season stay tuned guys the lake's a little low right now it's high but it's low so there's not enough water for fish to really get on stuff like these reeds behind me uh, take it up and spawn um, it's just a little too shallow so they're, if they're spawning they're spawning off the bank and it's gonna make it really tough on uh, fishermen to try to catch them um, I moved up into the river just to try to see if I could get channel swing banks get deeper water a little bit closer so that they uh there is as much flat out in front of these reeds for fish to be um, one thing i always do whenever i'm kind of struggling finding out what depth they're in is i always kind of want to move a little bit steeper banks so it's a little easier on me follow up to that update I just made I am fishing the same spot where I just put in or just did that last update you can see behind me I've got a bunch of hyacinth um, some duckweed or some uh, yeah duckweed and uh, came in here was punching it I got one my earlier fish punching and uh, threw my frog up in something I'm pretty sure it was a gator but I had something hit it and I thought what the heck so I kept throwing the frog a little bit um, ended up missing the one hopefully you just saw came back and got it twice it hit it the first time missed it threw back in there and it hit it a second time and i had it for a second and i saw it and it was a pretty big one um lost it and then right after that caught one on the floating worm so decent area um pretty big creek but i'm up the river uh, definitely seems like there's just more life for from bass at least um not as many trash fish but i'm close to the channel swing right here i don't know there's some local guys on the other side and they looked like they kind of knew what they're doing so maybe the inside or the outside channel swing will be good or just both hopefully both and then we just have a whole area to ourselves to fish in all day floating worm trying to figure something out that was on a bed all right so i just caught that one that was almost a four catching it on that floating worm like i showed you guys um i'm gonna stay in here i wanna i'm kind of at the mouth right now i fish from the mouth i'm maybe like a third of the way back into this big creek um so i want to keep going further back just to see if maybe they get smaller maybe they get bigger um or just to see if there's even fish there because 
um, kind of when I want to fish a tournament, I kind of like not moving much. I want to stay in one or two spots all day, really. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I can stay. If I have to just fish the mouth of the creek, so I'm going to do that. Obviously, this might change during the week. But I just want to kind of figure it out, see, because earlier today when I was in the lake, I wasn't seeing fish out. I wasn't seeing fish in. So I just kind of want to get a gauge to see if they're just kind of everywhere up here. So I don't want to catch anymore, especially if I'm going to come fishing here in the tournament. So I tie what's called a hitchhiker on. I'll show you guys this in a second. Maybe some of you guys have seen this. Um, it's very much like a screw lock. Um, I'm just going to tie it on just like I would, like a hook. I cut it. Pretty much what, what it is, it's pretty much just a screw lock. I don't know, it's going to be really tough for you guys to see it. I'm just going to take my bait and literally just screw it up on there. I'm mean, gonna get the same action. Um, sometimes you'll have to like put a weight on it to get the same action, but this was a weightless worm anyway, so I'm gonna get the same action. And since I'm fishing this up high, I, I'm able to see the fish come out, see where they're coming from, and kind of see how big they are. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to fishing. I'm probably just gonna pick it up and move a little bit further back in the creek, but that's a little midday update for you guys on day one. It's getting really hot now. Um, drinking some water Stay hydrated for sure. All right, but I'm about to move so I kind of see <clears throat> A little bit of a pattern. I just moved back uh, A little bit further into the creek and I just stopped right there saw frog blow up and then had one hit my floating worm But I'm kind of seeing they're all coming like the same distance off the bank uh, Whether that's in a mat uh, or just in open in open spots like under those trees. I think they're gonna definitely bed under those trees, but um, I the one I just caught was on a bed. Um, I could see it, um, but I think the pre-spawn fish will be up under these mats, just kind of waiting. It's supposed to be cloudy and windy all week, um, so it's not like perfect to spawn. But I'm just trying to figure out because I think those beds are gonna get picked off pretty quick if they do end up bedding during the tournament. So I'm trying to figure out how to catch them inside these mats, whether that's just with a frog. I've got one punching, but it was in a mat that did not look like this at all. Um, where I've had both the frog blobs, it's been clear on the backside, not inside any of this grass or anything like that. Um, kind of like if you can see back there where I just cast it, it's been clear back there but I'm trying to figure out, put on a bigger weight to see if I can get through that grass because it's gonna be too tough to frog through that. So just gonna see if I might be able to punch it. But I don't wanna, I wanna make sure that I will uh, see him first. The problem is, is I, I also think the bigger fish are gonna be towards the mouth. That's what I've kind of heard about Eufaula. Um, big fish don't really come back in the creeks very much. But the only problem is, is you can even see it here that a bunch of people are driving by and we're in a creek right now. We're not even on the main river and the bank's getting muddied out. Um, so it's gonna make bed fishing really tough, which could be good because I don't want anybody else to really find bed fish but me. And I feel like I can see beds a little bit better than other, a bunch of people because I'm a little bit taller and I'm younger, so I have good eyes, but We'll see, I think, I think my plan is to try to, I think mats might be where it's at. All right, a little mid afternoon update. Uh, move spots a couple times um, Trying to see if it was a pattern more so than a spot um, Kind of seems like it's more like a spot like maybe there's just a population of fish in that creek um, Definitely seemed like I caught them more towards the mouth um, So I went in another big creek fished pretty hard through the whole thing just to make sure Had a couple bites one on a one on a chatterbait uh, Maybe two on the worm, but that was it. I don't think one, the chatterbait fish was a keeper, um, but it was doing something completely different. 
um, something I don't really feel comfortable with at all. Um, I don't know, I'm going to probably have to turn back around soon and head back. Uh, I'm going to check out probably the ramp. Uh, when I was there this morning, it was, seemed pretty muddy, but it was really foggy, so I couldn't really tell. I don't really feel great about this little trick worm bite. Um, it's supposed to get pretty nasty. I think it may have died because it got a little sunnier. Good news is, is I feel like this is a really cloudy conditions bite, and uh, it's going to be cloudy the day of the tournament. Really can't, man, it's, it's tough to put it together right now. I mean, it's just the first day of practice, but... I had a couple bites, definitely not upset with the day. I was I was a little worried in the beginning because I was fishing some really good looking stuff and I wasn't getting bit. What I'm trying to do is be in front of the fish because I know it's gonna get it's gonna stay warm throughout the week. Um, even though it is gonna rain, I still feel like fish are gonna pull up, but then they're just gonna kind of stage five feet off the bank or so until they until probably Saturday when it becomes clear again and they can move up finally. That's a good start. Toss it back quick because we're next to the road. Practice day number two. You guys already just saw. I just caught that one about four. That was like literally like my fifth cast uh, in a corner. I hit it twice, so I think I might have been on a bed, which is it was in the right spot for a bed. Um, fishing around. There's different grass down here, or lower down the lake. I'm in Cheney Hatchie right now. Um, a little bit shallower, but there's at least good depth around it. Um, it's a little bit flatter, but there is good depth around it, uh, unlike up where I was yesterday. Um, that fish came on a big bladed chatterbait. Had a little bit of orange in it. Um, had something swirl underneath my frog a second ago. I think I'm just throwing the wrong color in open water. I think I need to have two different frogs on. I think I need to have one open water one that needs a little bit of orange in it. And then I'm gonna throw my mat one, which is that big, big frog. Just moved out. This creek is a little bit shallower. As you can see I'm pretty far off the bank right here. Um, graphed until I saw a little bit deeper water. I'm kind of around the channel right now. I saw that isolated grass patch. Uh, first cast once I dropped the troll motor and caught it. Um, 
kind of looking for something where I feel like fish could stage on um, or that they'd pull up to, especially with this deeper water kind of close by. Whenever I leave here, I'm going to go further back in, but whenever I leave, I'll graph this deep water all the way out, mark any little thing that I can find because I think, even though there is a lot of shoreline grass, I think that it'll get beat up pretty quick, even though the fi and fish will be coming up to it. Um, so trying to find something where if somebody's on my spot, somebody's on my stretch, I can pull out. Maybe catch a little bit bigger of a fish. Uh, and even there's a chance of storms on the tournament days. So I think if it's storming, they might not move up at all. Um, all right, well, if I just catch one four pounder off that, I'll be all right. That was kind of crazy, dude. I'm about to piss my pants though. said I launched in whatever creek I launched in uh, then it started getting really rough started getting pretty windy ran up fish the main lake stuff uh, ended up catching one I think I have a video of that um, on the main lake on a speed worm uh, just in some of the same grass that I've been fishing in the back of these creeks um, kept going up started fishing some brush piles started seeing some good brush piles saw some fish in there but you guys are just gonna have to deal with the wind noise. I saw some fish in there in the brush piles, but it's just too muddy. There's too much pollen in the water. My side imaging, side imaging doesn't even work. That's how much pollen there is in the water. So it's really, really tough to try to find these. Um, even right now, we're just getting blown like crazy. Um, little pro tip for you guys if you're watching this. Uh, if there's too much clutter in the water, if you're running hummingbirds, hit that check mark and take your frequency to 455 uh, for your side imaging. You're, it's not going to be as clear, but you're going to at least be able to see in some of that clutter. Ended up running up into the river because it got so windy. Um, if It's supposed to be windier than this on the tournament day, so I figured if I can't really run around, I can at least run around the river. Day one, I did catch some fish in the river. Went back in there. I got one bite in a different creek. Doesn't look good. Talked to another guy. He said he didn't even have a bite today. In the river, so not. I don't think I want to go up into the river. I feel like I'm gonna to try to stay in the lake if I can. Fish, fish my deep spot. Fish my other creek. I think if I stay in my creek all day, I think I can get five bites. Uh, I think it's getting tougher by the day uh, with how much pollen, how much wind, how much just dirt there is in the water. It did flood here. It's even. It's gonna to be too rough to even kind of graph around out in the main lake. Um, and that water's just gonna be so mucky. So I'm gonna fish shallow a little bit more. If I run out of water, I'm gonna run up into a, uh, put it on the trailer, run down south, put in a creek that I haven't been in yet um, on the west side to get out of that wind a little bit. But it is pretty windy. It's gonna be windier on the tournament day. I don't even know if they're gonna cancel it because it was kind of rough out there. Wasn't awful, like you could still get around, but it wasn't very fun. But. guys and girls today is day number four uh four and a half camera ended up messing up yesterday at the end of the day don't really know why um let's see what i do i was fishing up the lake got really windy uh, ended up running back or i caught one up shallow i think i have, yeah, I have a video that i broke it off um ended up running back to the ramp putting the boat on the trailer running south uh, pretty much ran to the dam uh, or pretty much took the truck to the dam, put it in the water. 
uh, started graphing around offshore. I was actually planning on fishing shallow there, but it ended up not looking good. Uh, so I ended up graphing the whole creek channel. Ended up finding another school. Um, made one cast, and I guess CMI brought them closer on the live scope. Second cast, I missed one. Third cast, I caught one, and ended up being a three and a half pounder. And I just left. There was a lot of them there. Um, so I'm really hoping they stay. I probably should have checked that this morning just to see if they'd stay there in the same spot. Um, I'm going to go back over there. I'm on the east side of the lake right now. We're going to get a west wind today. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I could at least get over here. So I'm going to run back over there maybe in the afternoon. And then I'll probably check it in the morning as well. Um, just to make sure the fish are there. Probably won't cast on them or anything like that. Um, I've already graphed for about an hour this morning. Um, haven't caught anything yet. I don't even have any rods out. I haven't seen anything I really want to fish. I haven't seen any fish. Um, I'm on the part of the lake right now. This is like sandy and another, thing. this is called sandy. There's another creek right here. And if there's sight fishing, apparently this is where it's supposed to go down. There's a lot of guys in here fishing shallow. <clears throat> I came in here at the end of the day, Sunday, and I didn't feel like I gave it enough time to really actually fish it, so I came back. Just gonna give it an hour or two before I get back offshore, or start graphing around. I think the west side of the lake, the west side down south, and then as you get a little further north, everything's gonna start to flatten out and you can really graph a whole lot more. But right here, the two creeks I've graphed so far today, there's really not much. Uh, not good creek channels. So I'm gonna head up eventually. Like I said, it's gonna get windy and it'll get in really rough. Not really rough, but it got decently rough yesterday at the end of the day. <clears throat> but that's my day four morning update. I haven't made a cast yet. I haven't even pulled the rod out, but I'm going to fish shallow for a minute. See if I can get them. So stay tuned. Nobody is fishing for these fish. They're just going right over top of them. They're not showing up on the graph at all. They're really, really tough to see. But that's the second one off this little spot. They're super fat. They don't look very big, but they're super fat. This is a 370. Unless something's really wrong with my scale. And these fish are fat. These fish are really fat. I feel a lot better now. Holy smokes, maybe I'm just gonna stay in here. Graph around for a little bit more. Caught a four, four and a quarter that you guys didn't see. Same thing, super, super tough to see it. Um, looked like a rock pretty much. And these, I was turning, I just saw super, super small dots and started casting at them. Um, I don't even, <laughs> this is really weird, but I feel a lot better now. I'm in something protected. Wind's supposed to come from the south. One's coming from the west right now, so you're not really hearing me great, but what the heck is going on? Literally throwing the worst bait I had. I saw the first school of fish and I was like, these are hybrids. I found this bait floating in the water, rusted, the hooks are bent out. 
this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. All right, a um, little mid-afternoon update. Um, I think it's three o'clock. Three o'clock. Um, spent the whole day idling pretty much. That was like probably my 15th cast of the day. Um, I found two spots. My camera wasn't working, of course. I caught a four and a quarter. Um, kind of off like a rock pre-spawn type spot on a channel swing. Most of the stuff I'm looking at is outside channel swing related. Um, here I'm at just at the mouth of the creek. Um, let's see, I'll go back, I'll go back. Uh, caught the four and a quarter, moved out to the front of that creek, ended up staying in probably like 12 to 14 feet. Got another spot, I caught like a three, three and a half and two something and then I left, there's a couple more there. Those there wasn't as many fish. Right here there's probably like 30 or so. Over there there's probably like 40 or so. The only problem is, is this is good 26, 27 miles from the ramp. Straight into the wind. This is the, probably one of the worst looking creeks on the whole lake. And I think that's why I like it so much. There's literally nobody, there's literally nobody in this creek. I've seen one other pra person practice anywhere close to here. I might be able to have this to myself. Hopefully they're at least all, all I mean, I think I can catch at least 18 pounds if I can get down here. Um, I hope, I mean, probably gonna have a couple crankbaits on. I've been throwing that 6XD. Probably gonna have an 8XT tied on. It's gonna be really windy, so I don't know if I'll be able to cast. I think I ended up with probably 16 or 17 pounds. I didn't really make very many casts today. Sun burnt my, the top of my thighs because I was graphing the entire time. These fish are really, really tough to see. I think it got so hot so fast that these fish don't know that they're supposed to be spawning. Uh, so they're off the bank. Uh, they're super white, super cold. So I think they're actually hugging the bottom. That's why they're so hard to see, even on live scope. It's still kind of tough to see them. I'm just kind of seeing bright dots inside the bottom. Um, but I'm catching them pretty quick. It's kind of weird, like, whenever I get onto a spot where there's a couple, I actually will lose one the first cast. I don't really know why that keeps happening, and then I'll start catching them. Uh, I've never caught more than two at a spot just because I, I want to leave. I, I won't keep casting. Um, don't really know what I'm going to do. Like I said, it's going to be really windy. Definitely don't want to go shallow. I ended up going shallow if I have to behind those pre-spawn spots just to see if there's already males up there and these females will move up. I doubt that there's any chance that they will move up, uh, but I did catch a couple small males today. Um, probably going to go fish a little bit closer to the ramp tomorrow because it is going to be really windy in the tournament. I feel like they might even cancel one of the days, uh, so we might fish Thursday and Saturday, but I, I have no idea. It's supposed to be really windy. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about it tonight, kind of figure out what I want to do tomorrow. I practice until 1, or 1 p.m. tomorrow, and then I'm off the water. got registration, meeting, pictures, uh, stuff like that. So we'll see, but um, 
Got a couple more hours tomorrow. I don't really know what I'm doing. Probably gonna graph, so it's gonna be a little uneventful tomorrow. We'll see. Um, that that wraps up day four of official practice on Lake Eufaula for the first stop of the Bassmaster Opens 2023. Ten thirty, last day of practice. Have to be off the water at one. Um, still idling around. Idling around. I found, found three schools today. Um, first one I found was super, super main lake. Um, I'm gonna go back and kind of look at that area again. I missed two from it and uh, didn't end up catching anything. I think they kind of left uh, once I kind of lost, missed them. Every single, every single school I've found, I usually will miss the first one. I don't know why. Just on a crankbait. Two I found were in this creek, but I caught the small one off that one. Another one a little bit further in, same exact deal, creek channel, creek channel turn on the inside. Um, ended up catching like a three pounder. Uh, got that on camera. Um, so now I'm, I left for a little bit because there's a couple people in here. I didn't want them to keep seeing me graphing in here. Um, came back, went and looked at some other stuff, didn't see crap, so I'm back. I'm just gonna graph a little bit further back just to see. Then I'm gonna go back down, fish, uh, let me see the name of the creek. I'm gonna go look in Barber and uh, Tenihachi, Chenihachi, um, before I'm gonna have to call it. I'll probably get off the water at 1230, um, just, to, just to give myself a little bit of time, clean up the boat, take pictures of the boat and trucks. Um, gotta get my hair all done up. I shaved, maybe you saw. So, um, just looking. I don't know, it's gonna be tough to make a decision, but I think I might have enough stuff to at least catch a limit. I know I'll have enough stuff to catch a limit, but the way these fish are acting today, it's a little weird seeing how they'll kind of be there and then leave or just not bite. So, I might have to figure something out. But these fish are in a lot more pressured area of the lake. So they might be a little bit trickier to trickier to catch, um, but yeah. So stay tuned. Almost done with practice. All right, guys and girls, that is the end of practice. It's rigging up, the, uh, putting rods up right now, about to clean the boat. Gotta go take some pictures and register. Hopefully the tournament works out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've never read what, never made a practice video before, I don't think. Um, we'll see, I mean, I, it should just be some fish catches. Hopefully me talking about it. I have no idea what my camera caught and what it didn't catch. So uh, hopefully it's a good tournament. Um, I'll put the tournament video up in there. If, it, if there's not a thing there, then we're there or there. Then I haven't made it yet. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.